Hey guys, welcome to the second tutorial of this series and in this video you will learn how to do the pan crop for your videos. So let's begin. Uh, here's what we made in the last video and I'm going to be applying my pan crop on these three clips. You can use your own, it doesn't really matter. So we're going to start off with uh, pressing S to bring up all the scales for every single clip. And then for the first clip, what I want to do is start off zoomed in and then zoom out as the clip goes on. I'm going to set a keyframe of 130 on the first frame of the video and on the last one, I'm just going to set it to 100. Then you just select both the keyframes, press F9 to easy ease it, then we can make the graph. So after making the graph, this is what the video looks like. And now what I want to do is zoom in to transition into the next clip. And to do that, I'm going to add the transform effect, which is going to start off with 100 on the first frame and and around 120 on the last one. So if you look at both of the graphs together, this is what it looks like. And I guess you can make one graph for this. You don't really need to, but I think that having two graphs gives me like more control over my pan crop. So that's what I'm going to do. Now we've basically done the pan crop for the first clip. And now we're just going to do that for the second one and the third one. So for the second clip, I'm going to zoom in two times, one in the beginning, one in the end. So I'm going to set three keyframes. The first one is going to be of 100. And then I'm going to set one in the middle of 115. And the one in the end is going to be around 140. And then again, I'm, I'll do the graph real quick. And this is what the video looks like now. And all that's really left is for me to continue that zooming in trend from the last clip to really finish the um, pan crop sequence. So in order to zoom in, we're going to start off with 100 on the first frame and around 130 on the last frame. And then we'll just do the graph and then we're pretty much done. But now I'll teach you how to make sure that you're using the right pan crop values. Like in this one, what I'm doing is I'm scaling up at the end of the clip and so in the next clip, what I'm going to make sure is that I'm also scaling up and not scaling down. So if I scale down, this is what the graph would look like. It would al almost look like the graph of a shake. And this is what the video would look like. And as you can see, it looks kind of weird. I mean, there are times when you actually want to make this type of graph, but this is just not it. And you'll realize what type of pan crop to use where as you gain more experience. As you can see that we've done the same thing for the second and the third clip. So at the ending of the second clip, we're going up. And on the beginning of the third clip, we're also going up. And remember, I always encourage you to like try your own stuff. So like, let's say you don't want to zoom in at the end of the first clip. So you can actually like try something else. Maybe something like this, where you zoom out twice and then change the graph for the next clip accordingly. As you can see, it follows the same principles where if I'm zooming out as the clip ends, then I do the same thing on the next clip to actually complete the transition. So this is what all three of the graphs look like together. So you can actually get away with the shake graph pan crop or whatever you want to call it that we made earlier. And we can get away with it because it's a sniper shot and it actually looks kind of good on it. So let me show you exactly what I mean. So here's what it looks like. And as I said, it looks pretty good in this scenario. And this is pretty much the only exception to when you can use this type of pad crop. You typically don't want it anywhere else unless you know what you're doing. And that's pretty much all I have for you guys in this tutorial. Leave a like if you learn anything. And there's only one video left for this series, which is the most anticipated one. And that is on how to make shakes for your edits. So make sure you have your notifications on for that. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.